Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you the do while loop. We've got a while loop here. If this looks a bit unfamiliar, I highly recommend checking out the while loop. And while you're there, check out the for loop videos as well. Once you're done, let's continue. So a while loop, I mean, a do while loop is sort of similar to a while loop. The main difference is it will get run once at the very least because the check only occurs at the end of each pass and not the start of each pass. So if we were to basically replicate this in a do while loop, it would be something along the lines of, if I comment this out, you would do do, open close curly braces. Here, you would put the loop, so while, and now here you just put your condition as you normally would. So this part is the while part, or less than 100. And do, 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 do. yeah, that's fine. And if we just copy this, because we're going to do the exact same result. And now if we run it, let's see what we get. We get the same result. So you might be thinking, okay, has anything changed? Let me show you something. If I do, so if I do i equals, Actually, in here, I'll use a different variable. So I'll say int x equals zero. And so it's going to be x times x. It's going to be x plus plus. And while x is less than, let's do it less than five, just so it's easy to scroll through the console log. But apart from that, that's the only reason I'm doing five. You get 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Okay, what happens if I put 10? as the initial i and x value. If you look, the condition is while i is less than 10, and while x is less than, I mean, while i is less than five, while x is less than five. They're both 10, so technically they shouldn't run, but they do. It is the second one that runs. And to prove that is the case, I will comment out this one, run it, we still get a hundred and because what is happening is it gets to the loop it says run it once it runs it x is 10 it prints out 10 times 10 which is 100 does x plus plus so x is now 11 then it says what's the condition the condition is run it again while x is less than 5 but x is now 11 11 is not less than 5 or equal to 5 therefore we're not going to run it again so if you need your application to do, you know, to run, you know, at least once, you know, the actual code in the what the loop, and the do while loop is great. And if you need it to run multiple times potentially afterwards, that's what the do while loop is for. So for example, what you might want to do with this is if you're getting input from the user, you want to get input at least once. And so you get the input, you do the check here, and if the data's fine, you know, maybe you are getting a username for example maybe it's a registration form and it has certain conditions for example it has to be more than six characters it has to be let's say less than 32 characters it can only it can't support spaces that sort of stuff if all those conditions are met then you know continue running the rest of the application so you want to get the input at least one from the user but if the condition or the conditions are false then you just keep running it till you basically get the right data that you are looking for. So that's where you might want to use a do while loop. So that's it for the do while loop. If you have any questions, feel free to put me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.